And it may be hard to believe, but the 2024 election is now less than a year away, and experts worry that the exodus of experienced workers will have an impact. But the election system gets a low-level test in Arizona tomorrow when local issues will be on the ballot in 12 counties. Renee Romo in our Washington Bureau, Bureau tells us what the outlook is. Research by New York University's Brennan Center found that one in five workers will be administering their first presidential election in 2024. And despite 12 of Arizona's 15 counties losing top election officials since 2020, a lack of poll workers does not seem to be a concern for Arizona Secretary of State Adrian Fontes. So we still have a great crew of poll workers throughout most of Arizona. These are folks that have been doing it for a long time. In fact, I met one recently who's been doing it for 75 years. And she ain't going to stop. Fontes said there is a difference between poll workers and election administrators, the group that has mostly seen the mass exodus. But he and Maricopa County recorder Stephen Richer both realize there is still some concern over how experienced the frontline poll workers will be. I think it has been a real challenge for election officials and election jurisdictions throughout the country to play catch up with some of the things that one needs to know in order to administer elections. Arizona is trying to play catch up with training that not only teaches poll workers the technical skills required, such as how to operate the voting machines, but also how to deal with the threats in person and online that have surged over the last couple of years, something that is new to the training. In our training regimen where it didn't exist before, which is too bad, but we can move forward uh, in a responsible way uh, to try to stave off the negative impacts of the threats that, that some folks are feeling. Whether new or old, Richer says these workers are all trained alike to be prepared for the, quote, hullabaloo that has been compounding on election administration over the last three years. In Washington, Renee Romo, Cronkite News.